Hi everybody, welcome back to Honeysuckle Homestead Retreat. As you can see, I am back on the homestead and I have some exciting news. Hi everybody, my name is Desiree. I live and work in Atlanta, but I have a tiny house in the Appalachian Mountains where I'm slowly starting an off-grid farm. I'm a single girl doing most of the work on my own and learning as I go. So come along with me on my journey and I hope it will entertain and maybe also give someone out there a little inspiration. Welcome to Honeysuckle Homestead Retreat. Okay, so I do have some exciting news. However, it wasn't that exciting when I first arrived. Uh, so I got in last night the news was that I had an electric line installed from my barn, which has my solar system, all the way 330 feet down to my tiny house. And so last night when I got in, I immediately got the fire going to warm this place up. Um, I didn't worry about the electricity off the bat because I'm like, I, need, I just need to get this place warm first. So I had the fire going. That took me like a couple hours just to make sure that I got it up to a decent temperature. And then after that, I proceeded to go over to my barn. I was instructed that I had to turn on the breaker that fed the line to the house. I was under the impression that was the only breaker switch that was off. Well, come to find out, it was not. Uh, of course, they had to turn off all the breaker switches in order to do the work for the house so that they wouldn't get electrocuted, which makes total sense. However, it turns out that they did not turn the breaker back on for the inverter or for the batteries. This work was completed about two weeks ago, and I am just now getting here. Well, that is two weeks without my batteries charging at all whatsoever. I go into the barn and my battery is dead. Like all the batteries are just dead. There's nothing. It's like it's a blinking red light at the 10% charge, which to me means that it has no charge. <laughs> so in the wintertime, the batteries don't charge quite as quickly, which is understandable. Um, there's less daylight hours. There's less peak hours of sunlight. Regardless, they haven't been charging at all whatsoever the past two weeks, even if there was sunshine, they weren't getting any of it. Needless to say, I was very disappointed um, when I first arrived at the homestead. <laughs> very disappointed. Uh, I actually am currently running on my electric generator that I had kept here, and it had an 80% charge, so it was enough for me to turn on the lights in my tiny house and also for me to power the light right now that's on me for this video. No, I do not have any electricity technically connected to my house at the moment. Ah, it was like, I was so excited to get here and so excited to like plug everything up and just flip a switch and be like, I have electricity and not worry about it. And then to get here and be like, I have nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> So I had nothing to the point where like, I don't, I didn't even have internet service because you have to have electricity to run the internet equipment, I guess, the router, the whatever. Uh, and I had none of that. Being the Girl Scout that I never was, I was actually prepared for this. I knew I had my generator here, my electric generator. So I knew I was good to go with that. And I also brought some external battery packs, so to speak, that are used to charge like phones and other things, like if you go camping. So I took my, um, it's actually called an, uh, the EcoFlow River battery, portable battery. And I took that up to my barn to connect to my internet so that I would have internet service, at least for the night. Uh, the... EcoFlow River worked throughout most of the night, but then after that, I didn't have um, internet service. Like this morning, I did not have internet service because uh, the river had died. When I did go back to check on my barn around noon, I still didn't have much of a charge. And I was really disappointed by that because I'm like, well, it's noon. I mean, isn't it getting sun right now? Like high noon, right? Well, uh, it wasn't getting it enough for it to go past the 10% charge. So I'm hoping that by tomorrow evening, I will have a full charge. 
I'm hoping. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is where the trench was dug to put in the conduit for the uh, electricity cable to go through. Um, they chose to go this route underneath the creek and then over on that side and then back up around to my tiny house. So it follows that hill all the way up and it's all underground. That's where my barn is up there. So yeah, and then it connects into my barn right there. All the way down the hill. So if we go inside. So this is where it comes into the barn here. Um, and it connects to this. So this is the breaker for the inverter and the breaker for the barn and extra, which I'm assuming extra is for the house. And then right over here is where my internet, this is all internet stuff. So yeah. And then this is my battery bank, as you can see. Uh, that is the inverter there, I believe. Um, and then, yeah, this is, this is the whole system. I don't understand it that much, so I can't really explain it. This here is showing my charge. Uh, thankfully, I am getting up in charge. I'm at 40% now, so that's fantastic. It is at 40%. Could I go ahead and plug in my house? Probably so, but I'm also good with just the generator for tonight, so I'm, I would rather those batteries charge up as much as possible before I even connect my house. So grateful that today and tomorrow are going to be full sun. So I should be getting as much charge as I possibly can, at least in the wintertime, on these two days. And that's awesome. Knowing that I'm at at least 40% now, I'm like, okay, well by tomorrow, hopefully I'll have a full charge or close to it. Maybe 80 or 90%. And I would be really happy with that. So by tomorrow evening, I can go ahead and try out my new system here. So yeah. I'm, I'm excited. That's really the news that I have right now. That's my big news is that I, I finally have electricity in my tiny house, except I don't. <laughs> ah, you know, it's, it was just so disappointing when I got here and I'm like, this is like the main reason for my trip this weekend was the electricity. And then I'm like, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, Am I even going to be able to use it at all this trip? I, I don't know. But now I know. Now, now that I've seen that I'm at 40%, I'm like, okay, we're going to be good. I should be able to plug it in and see what happens. Okay, it is the next day. And um, the, at the barn, it said that we were at 80% battery charge. So I felt that was good enough uh, to go ahead and attempt to plug in the house. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go, about to plug in the house. The electric has been turned on for this outlet. Uh, I have to admit, I'm a little nervous. Okay guys, so uh, this is the moment of truth. I've plugged in the house and I am going to try to turn a light on to see if it works. I'm gonna go in the kitchen here. <gasps> oh my goodness, I have electricity. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, we have light. We have light, everybody. We have electricity in the tiny house. Yes, and it is all on solar. I am so excited. Oh my goodness, let's turn another light on. Let's see, let's see. Let's. What do you think, Gio? We're gonna turn another light on, buddy? Yeah. <gasps> yes, we did, and it works. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This is an exciting moment. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. 
you guys, you don't realize how much you take for granted electricity until you go without electricity. And I have been going without electricity in this tiny house ever since it arrived here. Um, let's see, when was that? August of 2021. And it's, yeah, yeah. So we're now at the beginning of 2023. So a little, about a year and a half-ish that I have come up here, stayed up here without electricity in the sense that I have it now. Like I always had a generator of some sort. So initially I started with a propane gas generator and that was fine, but it was loud and I hated the exhaust that it put out. I mean, absolutely hated it. Then I upgraded to the electric generator, which is still sitting right here. It is the EcoFlow Pro. And I've loved, I've loved having the electric generator, but it, it was a bit of a hassle because it does weigh a hundred pounds. It has wheels on it, but when you're trying to move it up and down stairs and into a vehicle, it's very cumbersome. So I would have to load it up into my Subaru Outback and go charge it over at the barn and then bring it back here. So it wasn't ideal, but it worked. It was fine, but man, it was a hassle. So to be able to come here and just turn on the breaker over at the barn and then plug up my house, I <laughs> it's like the best feeling ever. So I'm, I'm so excited. Um, so excited. Look at the lights. I have electricity. I'm so excited. Um, I will probably do a future video showing after I've stayed here for a whole weekend and after it has a completely 100% charge, how much energy I actually will be using over a weekend's time. Um, but obviously we'll, I won't be able to do that this weekend because, you know, this happened a little late. But um, perhaps next time I come up, that's one of the videos that I'll do. And, um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Don't know when it'll be, but it, it will happen. Okay, well, that is it for this week's episode. Yay! I'm so excited, if you can't tell. And, um, yeah, if you guys haven't done so already, please remember to hit that like button. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. And, um, well, that's it. I will see you guys next time.